so let's bring up this side. So there you can see you've got uh, a motor in the front and a motor in the back, uh, hence the, the dual nature of it. Uh, but you know uh, what would be greater than, than sort of seeing a, a slide is to, to show you the, the actual car. So uh, here we here we have the the, the chassis and the, the 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 front drive unit, the rear drive unit, and the the, the thing that makes this uh, unique and special and sort of better than uh, all-wheel drive in the past is because you can. So it's it's like the equivalent of being sort of analog, uh, whereas this is this is a, a digital system. So it, it's it, with a system like this, it's it's uh, inherently able to achieve better road holding than a mechanically linked system that's just the first, uh, the various elements of how we're doing autopilot. It, it consists of a synthesis of, of four different systems. The first is a, a forward-looking radar. So that, that's scanning the cars in front of you, and it's, it's, it's quite long range. So it's able to see things at, at a long distance. It's also able to see through fog, through snow, through sand, through anything, basically. All right, moving on to the A. Uh, the, then the, the next element is a camera with uh, image recognition, so it, it's able to read stop signs, distinguish uh, pedestrians, uh, uh, look at traffic lights, and, and also serve as a backup system to the radar. The third system is 360-degree uh, 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 long-range ultrasonic sonar. Um, so this, this, this basically establishes a protective cocoon around the vehicle and it will attempt to make whatever the sort of smart move is um, from a safety standpoint looking. And then the, the final element is integrating that with uh, navigation um, and basically the GPS system and real-time traffic. So we integrate those four systems and the, the car can do almost anything. Um, so we're able to, a very important point though, in, in addition to the sensors, we, we, you have to have precise control. So we, we, we have an all digital control system, high precision, um, really low latency uh, uh, control system. Starting with the, the motors, obviously they're, they're electric motors. They don't have the latency and the, the sort of slow uh, spool up of uh, gasoline engines. Then uh, we go to the, the, the brakes. So we've, um, one of the big upgrades to the car is an electromechanical braking system. So it's able, it's just one of the most advanced braking systems in the world. And then, um, We've got the, uh, that, that's combined with an electric steering, so it's electric power steering. So the whole, the, whole, the whole system is sort of fully electric, digital control, low latency. This is all really important to having a great uh, driving experience, so that the car is doing things in a, in, a, in a natural way. All right, next one. So this gives you a, a sense of the, the new interface. Um, and. Uh, the, 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 you can actually sort of see where cars or, or obstacles are around the car on the on the instrument panel. So it'll actually show cars that are you know the distance of the car ahead of you, cars moving to the to the sides and behind, and um, and you can you can adjust the sensitivity of the autopilot. So do you want to be in a sort of an aggressive autopilot or you know less aggressive? Um, and uh, yeah, so it's and it, it'll warn you with sort of the, it, with initially. A, a visual warning if there's a potential collision risk, uh, like so it'll turn, turn the object red, and then it'll give you an audible warning if you don't see that, and of course it'll, it'll, res it'll resist steering into things that it thinks are danger. So you can still overpower the, the steering, but it's gonna give you a tactile feedback that you're... <laughs> 